and you happen to be a minority, and you happen to have used drugs, and you can't afford a rich attorney, what are the, what are the odds of you going to prison versus the fact if you're a rich white person, how often will you go to prison for life for the use of drugs? I think there's too much bias in the judicial system today. Politically, I believe this whole whole message of individual liberty versus uh, indoctrination by the dictatorship of the majority should bring us together. Right now, we're not together. The pie is shrinking. Uh, the special interests are clawing away. They think, well, we have to spend more money on lobbying because there's not so much left, and we know there's going to be a limit. No, uh, I think what we should be doing is uh, being more concerned on, on productivity. But we are, we are uh, at, at odds. The parties seem to be at odds, but uh, philosophically, the parties aren't at odds with each other. They, they support the same position. Foreign policy. Did, George Bush ran on no nation building and, uh, and, and no policemen of the world. And look at what happened. Obama was the peace candidate, verified by the fact that he won the Nobel Peace Prize, you know. So, so the peace candidate, you, you know, uh, so often uh, does, does win. But uh, we, we need to make the decision, though, on whether or not this will continue. And uh, I, I think the decisions are, are very, very obvious. But uh, when, when it comes to this whole issue of liberty bringing us to be together, whether it's a foreign policy or monetary policy, we did, a, I think, a pretty good job on getting this issue for the first time in the history of the Federal Reserve. We got Republicans and Democrats, liberals and conservatives to understand the need to check in and find out what the Federal Reserve has been doing on a thorough audit.